As the world changes and development expands, biodiversity is at risk. I'm looking back at the last 20, 30, 50 years and the world has been transformed. Massive um, population growth, uh, math massive pressure on the environment and uh, we see like an extinction of species across the globe happening, climate change. Uh, so I think uh, it is uh, high time to bring, uh, you know, thought leaders, uh, state leaders together just to uh, actually make uh, certain that, you know, the globe can survive in its current state. Decreasing biodiversity from development, loss of habitat and climate change threatens the food we eat, the water we drink and the air we breathe as interconnected ecosystems are put under increasing pressure. We are exceeding the planetary boundaries that we have, which means that we are operating more than the safe zone that, that we should be operating at, at the moment. So biodiversity is one of the issues that we have, we really need to tackle because for the Earth system to function properly, there has to be a proper uh, biosphere integrity to happen and, and part of that is biodiversity. Biodiversity loss is poised to do real damage to the world economy. The World Bank estimates biodiversity loss could cost global GDP $2.7 trillion a year by 2030. Focusing on biodiversity during the economy-focused APEC gathering is a way to highlight the financial downside. It draws attention to this critical issue because this is a major issue, but sometimes it's sidelined in many ways to other more sort of um, obvious economic concerns, but biodiversity loss is itself a huge economic concern. These university leaders say we must focus on biodiversity before it's too late. That includes preserving sensitive land and marine habitats. Key is to preserve ecosystem function, so we need to keep as many species persisting through this uh, extinction event as possible so we can maintain those ecosystem services. Ultimately, we people are going to pay the price if the extinction crisis worsens.